So my name is Enda McGrath. I'm the Director of Developer Relations for WebOS. Uh, my team, uh, most of them are here today. Uh, we help developers like you uh, not only create applications for the WebOS catalog, but cross-platform catalogs. I'm here today to talk about uh, Enyo. And Enyo is a truly cross-platform JavaScript framework. First, I want to give you a quick background on the origins of Enyo and uh, the reasons for doing it. Before the touchpad was released last year, uh, WebOS ran on smaller devices, so smartphones. And when it came time to upscale to the bigger screen, we found that the current framework we were using at the time wasn't up to the task. So necessity being the root of invention, we uh, created Enyo 1.0. This gave us the ability to scale the different uh, screen sizes, both large and small. So back in January, we released Enyo 1.0 uh, to open source. Uh, we're currently on beta 4 of Enyo 2, and we're working hard towards getting our GA release out uh, pretty soon. So to give you an overview of what is Enyo, uh, to give you the definition, Enyo is now an open source, cross-platform, object-oriented, encapsulating a modularity. So try saying that three times fast later on tonight. What do I mean by truly cross-platform? So what we mean by cross-platform is quite simple. You write once using one framework and deploy your application to all the major catalogs in mobile and desktop. As I said, Enyo was conceived for mobile. It was built from the ground up with that in mind. So it was built to shine on both tablets and phones. What you get is something that is lightweight and fast, it's tuned for speed and responsiveness and supported on all platforms. And it all comes in a small package. Zipped up, Enyo is about 17K in size. Enyo is extensible. Enyo core can be expanded with modules, UI widgets, and more. It's also community-centric. As you can see from our gallery, dozens of developers have already uh, added their custom components. Uh, so all the community can reuse these components and if there's a component that doesn't exist, developers can create it and ensure it for everyone to use. So one of Enyo's biggest features is that it's built to manage complexity. You can use the Enyo encapsulation model to divide and conquer large projects. Uh, no particular piece of an application needs to be especially complex. Because combining components is central to Enyo's design, it's natural to factor complex code into smaller pieces. And because Enyo is modular, all these pieces tend to be reusable. So you can use them within one project, within many projects, or developers can use it across in the community. So all this sounds good, right? But what does Enyo cost? The good news is that Enyo is free and open source. It's uh, licensed using the Apache 2 version 2 license. And it's free for anyone to download. And uh, it's part of the community for the community to, to use and develop with. So why would you want to use Enyo? If you want to create apps that run on all types of devices, from phones to tablets, and apps that run on multiple platforms from Windows to iOS, they use HTML5 and have polished and performance that rival native apps. And also the code that is easy to maintain and reuse. So to bring it all together, this is an application that was created for the BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, the app uses Enyo. And as you can see, it's got the paneling for easy navigation. Uh, when this uh, application was reviewed, the, some of the um, feedback that was given was professional UI and has a simple and easy to use UI. So at this stage, you want to know well, how do you get involved with Enyo? How do you contribute? Uh, so what we'd like to do is encourage people to take it for a spin, uh, try it out, see its limits, and figure out what else it needs. Uh, come to the Enyo forums. Uh, we have a very vibrant community of developers, so we'd love people to come on there, give their feedback, help people out. Being a community, we're all about developers helping developers. So spread the word. You know, if you've created something in Enyo or if you've created a widget, you can blog about it, tweet about it. But we want to get the community involved as much as possible so that we can spread the good word. If you're interested in contributing to code to the actual project, come and see us and talk to us. And what we can do is figure out what is it you want to do. You can fork our uh, repo on GitHub, and then you can make a pull request. So if you want to learn more today, uh, Ben Conby is uh, doing a talk on Enyo JavaScript Framework. 
That's at 145 in, uh, I think it's the Golden Gate 6 and 7. You can find us at boot 107 next door. Uh, we've got some, uh, some giveaways too, so people are pretty excited about that. Uh, you can also go on our website, which is enyojs.com. Uh, you've got all the information I covered quickly today, and you'll get some samples, tutorials, and more documentation on how to use it. And you can also follow us on Twitter at the handle enyojs. So to finish up, we are hiring. Uh, if you would like to join a fast-paced and motivated team and help change the world for the better by ushering in an era of truly cross-platform HTML5 apps, we would love to have you on board. And we uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the community. So come meet us. Join us next door. We have uh, our Enya team and our developer relations team are here today. So you can talk with them and uh, get some more information on what it is we do. So uh, thank you, and uh, talk to you soon.